Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple and easy glycerite. It's one of the most popular glycerites that I sell to people on a regular basis or make for family and friends. This is the central nervous system glycerite and it is great for supporting your central nervous system. I'm going to go through today how to make it and also why it's good to have on hand. All right, so today we're doing this glycerite. This is a glycerite that I literally cannot stay on top of. I'm making it every two weeks, three weeks maybe, because um, I have so many people that take this glycerite. If you're not sure what a glycerite is, it's basically taking, it's, it's basically a tincture, but you're using vegetable glycerin, which is the leftovers of, of making various different things, but it's sugary. Um, it kind of tastes like sugar. This is an organic glycerin. Um, I will link below where you can get it from. This is a half gallon, right? No, this is a whole gallon. This is a whole gallon of glycerin. And today I'm making a whole gallon of this tincture, of this glycerite. Uh, when you lose, use glycerin, it's called a glycerite. When you use vodka or alcohol, it's called a tincture. Now this uh, glycerite includes oat tops. Uh, you can leave these whole or you can blend them up just very coarsely in a grain blender like the Vitamix grain blender. Uh, you can also try the regular Vitamix. Uh, I haven't tried it in that yet, but maybe I will. Uh, then I have, let's, I'm adding it maybe this week. I have lemon balm leaf and then I have chamomile, which is generally German chamomile, uh, but you can use the other as well. And then this time I am adding passion flower to this batch. I just wanted to try it and see if my regulars liked it or not. Now, I have talked extensively about this glycerite in my Homestead Herbalist group. Uh, we use this glycerite a lot in that group to deal with things like vision loss, which is obviously, or which is frequently um, tied to the central nervous system, uh, hearing loss, um, headaches, tension headaches, anxiety, depression, um, and general nervous system functions. So if you have a lot of tingling or if you have compressed nerves, this tincture is great for that. So that those are the main reasons we do it. But any, any reason at all, um, it's especially very, very good for people who are suffering from loss of taste and smell. Uh, from the virus um, or any virus, if that's a lingering symptom, generally that's tied to central nervous system damage. So this is the glycerite that I get asked for most often, especially for the recipe. So today I'm going to make it. So we're going to start. This is just really simple. I, all, I eyeball this glycerite because I've made it so often. Uh, and today I'm going to kind of teach you how to do that. But keep in mind, I'm a big uh, stickler for weighing out your herbs the first few times that you make something. That way you know that you're making it consistently. If I were to measure this out by cups with whole oat tops, it would be a much different measurement than if I, met, if, than if I cut these up in a blender and then measured with cups. I would get way more that way than this way. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then herbs like the milky oat tops are much more fluffier and dense than herbs like say lemon balm, which are just leaves that are dried. So I really highly recommend you weigh your herbs whenever you do this. I'm not doing that today because I'm making a quick batch. I literally make this all the time and it doesn't really matter. The dosage is just not really mattered. Um, this is one of those glycerides where you can eyeball it. I know for me and my family, and my clients that I need more milky oats in this recipe than anything. So I'm gonna start with milky oats. Um, I'm gonna start by filling up the jar with milky oats and then I'll go from there. So I'll probably do half to almost three quarters of the jar with the milky oat tops and then I'll add equal parts of the lemon balm, chamomile, and passion flower because the milky oat tops are really the herb that I'm looking to extract in this recipe, the others are companion herbs that help those milky, milky oat tops really work in the body and they're also extra herbs, calming nervine herbs for the body. 
But I know as an herbalist that these oat tops are very well known to help with anxiety, depression, and central nervous system function. Uh, I have used this on patients recovering from COVID, uh, especially for anxiety. I've used it for, uh, like I said, the, the smell and taste factor. And for people who have overall tension in their life, this is the glycerite you need to make for those reasons specifically. So I'm gonna start by um, putting in the milky oat tops. All of, after all of my herbs are in, I add the glycerite, uh, or the glycerin. So we'll do the milky oat tops. We're adding in all of these other ingredients. And then once I get to the very, very top of the jar, I am adding vegetable glycerin, preferably organic, to cover all of them. And so you may have to sit there for a little while and wait for the glycerin to kind of really go into all of these herbs. If you need to add a little bit more, you can. As long as the glycerin covers the herbs at all times, that's all that you need to worry about. Now I will tell you, that's it. That's the basics of it. You let it sit for four to six weeks, preferably in a cabinet or a dark area. That's temperature controlled. You do not want to let it sit in the sunlight or in a very heated area. We're not making an infused oil of any kind, which is generally used for skincare. Um, this is for human consumption. And so you want to set it in a cabinet and just kind of let it infuse that glycerin. Now, I will say that I often put the lid on very tightly and flip the jar at least once a day. So whether it's in the morning when I see it or the evening when I see it, I will flip the jar and let it sit again until the following evening or the following morning. That way we're just making sure we're getting all of those herbs mixed up on a regular basis. So once you have all of the herbs in there, all of the glycerin, you've capped it, you're gonna let it set, you're gonna mix it up every day by doing the jar like like this up and down and that's it at that point when it's done you strain out all of the herbs uh which i'm actually not going to show you in this video because i don't have a batch ready which is why i'm making this batch today uh, but you just strain them all out in a in a mesh strainer uh glycerins glycerides do not generally work well going through muslin cloth or cheesecloth. So I just get a mesh wire strainer and I place it over the jar and just empty out all of the glycerin from that glycerite. And then I toss the ingredients off to the chickens or just throw them away however you'd like. At that point, you store it in an, another jar in a cabinet or in individual amber glass uh, eyedropper bottles. And then label it so that you know. You can take, you can really not overdose on this. Um, you would take this a dropper full, five milliliters a day or, or more even. Um, you can take one to three milliliters three times a day. You can take five milliliters in the morning. You can take five milliliters in the evening. It's kind of about based on what you need for your body and what you're using it for. So feel free to kind of play with the dosage. It is also safe for children. Uh, make sure that you look up all safety precautions of the herbs that I've used. That way you know that if they interact with other medications that you might be on or if they're not good for somebody who might have an allergy, make sure that you educate yourself on those things first before ever making an herbal protocol at home. Generally, I will say that the herbs I'm using generally don't have much of an issue for people who are generally healthy. Um, but just know that there's always that exception. So make sure that it works for you and your clients. Label it correctly and make sure you put the correct dosage on there as well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell if you have not already. Check out the links in the description of a lot of the stuff that I talked about. And if you wanna learn more about herbalism in a more in-depth way, especially certain things that we can't talk about on YouTube, consider joining the Homestead Herbalist group, the Homestead Herbalist membership. You also, with your membership, get access to an entire virus course that I put together, like hours and hours and hours of scientific information about how the human body gets sick, how it works, and how you can help 
treat your family completely 100% at home during virus, cold, and flu season. All right, check it out in the description below. And until next time, have a great day and happy homesteading. I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong.